Howdy. Today we're going to demonstrate using AVI DMUX to trim a video clip and replace the audio. AVI DMUX works directly on the compressed file in a situation like this so it doesn't decompress and recompress and saves the video quality. It's as good as you start with when you're done. The first thing we want to do is use the MP4 format because that I'm using the Flip Minnow HD as my camcorder. And that's the native format for the Flip Minnow HD. We're going to merge a file that was recorded on a Zoom H2. Let's open the file. Here we go. We're going to use Flip Clip 1. Whenever I use the H.264 codec from the flip I get this message I always say no so far it seems to be working just fine so there's our clip we're gonna use the frame counter the timer the A and B markers to synchronize the audio and then trim our clip to length so let's see if we can find the uh, the clap in the video there it is. Back up just a little bit using the single arrow. And there we are, frame 74 and the time of 02.466 is where the clap happens in the video. Now let's bring the audio in. We go to audio, change the main track audio source from video to external wave and then open an external wave. We're going to use H2 Guitar Edit 2 as our replacement wave file. Now let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, the clap happened just a little sooner on the audio track than it did on the video track. Let's go back. We're at 80. Now one thing to mention, there are two kinds of frames in these H.264 uh, encoded streams. Um, they, they're called P frame and the I frame. The I frame is the main index frame. The P frame is a partial frame. And you can only trim, you should only trim or can only trim on I frames in ABI DMUX. So we'll use that uh, when we trim. Also, these double arrows make it easy to jump between iframes. They'll jump you to the previous and the next iframe, while the single arrow jumps you between frames. So let's go back and uh, hear that clap again. Okay, the clap happened. Uh, let's see if it happened after frame 70. No, no clap. Let's go back to frame 60. There it was. So it's between frame 60 and 70. So let's try frame 65. Ah, the echo of the clap, I would say. So back to frame 62 or 3. Once again, the echo of the clap. Back to 62. There's the clap. So the clap is at frame 62. And, oops, sorry. And frame 62 is 2 2.066. So a difference of 400 milliseconds between the video clap and the audio clap. We use the shift function here. And we sh just put in the millisecond value, 400. Now, in this case, the audio is ahead of the video, so we use a positive number. If the video were ahead of the audio, if the clap happened on the video before it happened on the audio track, we use a negative number here in the shift. The next thing we want to do is uh, set a codec to compress that file. We've attached a WAV file. The WAV file is not a valid format for an MP4, and it makes your file big and makes YouTube unhappy and many other reasons to switch to the AAC codec to compress. We can still stay with a copy codec because we're not going to use filters. We're not going to alter the video except to trim it. And that's what we'll do now. We go to a good starting point, uh, somewhere around in here. 
OK. And then we want to go back to an iframe where things look like a good starting spot. How about right there? That's an iframe because I've been using the double arrow. Let's set the A marker there as a test and hear what it sounds like. Good. Just a little pause and then the music starts. So then we go to the end. Okay, looks like he's done. Okay, play from there. Guy should have shaved before he did the video, huh? But that looks okay. Let's see, we probably don't want eyes closed. Oh, but we, yeah, let's go back, back, something like that. Let's set the B marker and then listen to it. Okay, there's nothing going on after that, so I'd say we're in a good spot. Now, if we wanted to delete a section of video, we'd mark it with the A and B marker and hit the D delete key. If we want to trim some video, we could set the A and B marker to the beginning and delete the beginning and set the A and B marker to the end and delete the end. But another way to do it is to set the A B markers to the, the video that we want to keep and then uh, save from there. And ABI DMUX will save just the portion that's in between the markers. So let's do that. Save video. We're going to call this um, Flip and H2. Um, now, we have to uh, type our own extension. ABI DMUX does not automatically add an extension like many Windows programs do. And so we should type an extension that matches our format, in this case, MP4. And then save. It goes pretty fast because uh, ABI DMUX is not doing anything to the video. It's only compressing the audio using the AAC codec. Now that's done. Let's load it up and see how it worked. Oh, before we do, this is something I did wrong a couple of times. Turn off the shift, the time shift. Otherwise, it'll shift the audio when you reload it. If you close ABI DMUX and restart it, it will reset everything. But if you just open another video file, it retains the settings like shift and so on. Okay, there's our flip and h2.mp4. Say no to this h.264 message detected. And play the video. There it is. So there's the process of trimming and replacing audio uh, in an MP4 clip or another compressed clip using AVI DMUX. I hope you found that useful. Please visit us at www.homebrewedmusic.com